that is where Indonesia is sort of lacking here because a lot of the initiations are on the side of the Philippines. One Numenum Blast is just what it takes to turn the tides in favor of the Philippines. But then again, Indonesia can go for skirmishes. If they can force out a pick off here on anybody on the side of the Philippines, they will have the upper hand. Ooh, a stun on Putra right there. But of course, these two tanks aren't going to do much. They're just going to give vision for their team. Xborg trying to get that top lane turret, but was immediately shut down or at least stopped by this thumbs. Putra going to be uh, forced to use the Jeet Kundo to get out of there. Man, they're eyeing out the Lord. These two tanks are always together. I think that's adorable. <laughs> they're, they're, they're just, oh, Ridwan, the damage alpha from Arakanghel! There go Firdaus, gonna try to uh, stop this push from happening. Castro Mayor, though. Gusian goes for the ultimate. Putra in the back lines, being dueled out by Arcangel. Castro Mayor goes uh, for the wild charge. Gonna be forced to back off, and they are gonna be starting up the level 1 Lord here. Not in a good position, Indonesia. HPs are very low, and they are gonna be forced to back off here. Lolita, Bata Anon is gonna be forced to stop any. Non contested form. Lord. They, it, Bata Anon did a good job to stop Kufra from coming in. Just went for a quick duel there. But Indonesia, one opening from Zask is all they need that in order to true. secure the turrets. Um, maybe if the Dragon was committed to Granger earlier, but he was fast on clicking that Purify and because of that, Cho was not able to be in the fight. 12 minutes into the game, 6,000 gold lead by the Philippines. Tension is high. A lot of people are have their eyes glued onto their screens. What will happen next? Putra gets stunned, but I don't think that Team PH will commit immortality being picked up by Lolita right here. Putra goes in, goes for the wave, the dragon. Onto Castro Mayor. I don't think that is a, a good choice for Indonesia. Could have instead tried to go for Nepomuceno there, but it is what it is. That is going to be one ultimate expended. The Lord is making his way over to the bottom side, and I think the Philippines is going to make a lot of space here for the Lords to push up. They're sieging up the mid lane. It is a very crucial lane here for Indonesia. Indonesia, they have to bring in all they got in order to stop this from happening. Gets the Jeet Kundo onto Castro Mayor. They're going to be backing off real quick. Mm -hmm. They go there see. are no more minions, but again, the Lord is marching here at the bot lane. Four people waiting for the opening. Putra receiving a lot of damage. Ultimates available except for Granger. What will happen? Oh my goodness, Castro Mayor got... Oh, Putra is going to be there. Vilya goes for the last insanity, brings down them, brings them down. The Pomposano secures the kill. Numenor Blast is going to be canceled here by Julianto, and they are going to be uh, forced to uh, fall back. I mean, the Numenor Blast is not going to be canceled as yet. Julianto going in for the duels, buying a lot of time for his team. That is a good call. Mm -hmm. More opening, more breathing time for Team Indonesia, but of course, that's what is the film. Numenor Blast, Numenor Blast, Blast X! Harit got. At, uh, hit by the Nominum Blast, but Team PH, they decided to not overstay. They could give it a go, but better safe than sorry. But that was a true for none in favor of their blue side. Still a lot of time for Indonesia. A, a good, really, a good call by Julianto. A good sacrifice to just push everybody back and allow the rest of Team Philippines to go back towards the Tier 2 side of the bottom lane. Give Indonesia a lot of room to uh, post up in order for them to be able to defend the push from coming. But this is going to be a team fight that they need to secure. But Ano and Firdaus is in the backside. There goes the last insanity committing onto a lot of people. Gastian is going to be forced to use his ultimate in order to survive that fight. Then that is going to be the Philippines coming out on top. One for two trade so far. You're moments away from securing the gold medal here. Put the force to go back and Archangel uses Rondo to try and chase out that Gushin. Did you see the damage that the Granger was able to apply on that Gushin? Of course, Dunok's gonna use his third skill to try and clear out the waves and he was able to do to Juliano. Oh, Duel Juliano. made that 1v2, made that 1v3! No! Yes, you have lifesteal, but they are, there's three of us here at the top lane. It's now a 4v2. Kuver is going to be up in 6 seconds and they need to secure this. There goes the Immortality being popped on the Putra. Putra is going to go it? down. There goes the Numino Blast. Philippines, they are moments away from securing the gold medal in the Southeast Asian Games. But this is going to be Indonesia fighting for their lives. They do manage to stop the push. Firdaus is going to go down. It's just going to be down to the one. He needs to make sure all his chrono dashes count. They need to take out Harry first. They need to bag that kill before they can go with a siege or maybe a base shot. This one's gonna go down! Got Here it is! Up. Here the Philippines are winning their gold medal in the Southeast Asian Games! The 